primary objective of a seller's agent on taking a listing is to solicit and locate prospective buyers. When a prospective buyer is located, the seller's agent owes the buyer a general duty to disclose property information that might adversely affect its value. For the most efficient delivery of property information, the seller's agent gathers data on the property and organizes it into a marketing package. The marketing package contains third-party investigative reports addressing essential aspects of the property's condition that are of concern to a prudent buyer. One of these critical reports is the Home Inspection Report. After watching this video, you will be able to understand the use of a Home Inspection Report to mitigate risks of misrepresentation in the preparation of a seller's transfer disclosure statement. And exercise care in the selection of a qualified home inspector. A home inspection is a non-invasive examination of the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems of the dwelling, as well as the components of the structure. In the course of representing the seller of a one to four unit residential property, the seller's agent asks the seller to grant them authority to order a home inspection report on the seller's behalf. This is done with an authorization to inspect and prepare a home inspection report, RPI Form 130. Alternatively, the seller may order the report themselves on the advice of the agent. The home certification process is a cost the seller incurs to properly market the property if they are to avoid claims by buyers about defective property conditions after a purchase agreement is entered into. The home inspection report is also used to prepare the seller's condition of property transfer disclosure statement. The home inspection report will then be attached to the seller's TDS. Both will be included in the agent's marketing package presented to prospective buyers who seek additional property information. On receipt of the home inspection report, the seller may act to eliminate some or all of the deficiencies noted in the report. But keep in mind, sellers are not obligated to eliminate defects they disclose when offering a property for sale unless they choose to. Basically, the seller has two choices, correct the defect or don't correct the defect and disclose its existence. A seller cannot choose to not correct any defect and also not disclose it. Now, if a defect is eliminated by correction, an updated home inspection report is ordered for use with the TDS for property disclosures to interested buyers. The seller's TDS, as reviewed by the seller's agent and supplemented with the HIR, is used to inform prospective buyers about the precise condition of the property before they make an offer to purchase. In doing so, the seller will not be later confronted with demands to correct effects or to adjust the sales price in order to close the escrow. Here, the property will have been purchased by the buyer properly, as disclosed, not as is. Any individual who holds themselves out as being in the business of conducting a home inspection and preparing a home inspection report on a one to four residential unit property is a home inspector. No licensing scheme exists to set the minimum standards of competency or qualifications necessary to enter the home inspection profession. However, some real estate service providers typically conduct home inspections, such as general contractors, structural pest control operators, architects, and registered engineers. Sellers and seller's agents are encouraged by legislative policy to obtain and rely on the content of an HIR 
to prepare their TDS for delivery to prospective buyers. The buyer's reliance on an HIR at the time of the purchase agreement relieves the seller and their agent of any liability for property defects they did not know or were not observable during the mandatory visual inspection conducted by the seller's agent. However, for the seller's agent to avoid liability in the preparation of the TDS by relying on an HIR, the seller's agent needs to select a competent home inspector to inspect and prepare the HIR. Thus, the seller's agent needs to exercise ordinary care when selecting the home inspector. Thank you.